Hey everybody, What's welcome that? back to a brand new episode of Saturday Night Chiller. Chiller. This is the show where we all gather around and watch scary videos suggested by you or not suggested by you and I might have to go look for them myself. But before we go any further, please do me a favor and dragon that like button, hit subscribe, hit that bell icon so that way you can get notifications of brand new content. Today's video has been suggested and requested by our own Angelica, daughter of the Watcher. Angelica has been a very, very strong supporter of the channel and uh, thanks to her, she has brought along a lot of other great viewers and everything and to all of you who have subscribed to this channel and have been watching the videos, all the live videos, all the uh, recorded videos, all the content that I've been putting up and been so supportive. I truly, truly appreciate it. It makes me want to do more and try to put something up every day. Now, I'm quite sure that everybody out here probably knows something about the back rooms legends. I mean, it's basically being stuck in the like really, really gaudy part of a hotel. Well, at least that's what it looks like to me. Like the conference rooms, that's what it is. The back rooms is an endless journey through hotel conference rooms. No, no, seriously, they look like conference rooms from the back of a hotel, like back in the 70s and the 80s. And it just keeps going and going and going and going. And there might be a monster or two. The Backrooms legend has spawned off many video games and many fan films. It's another dimension. Or is it another universe? Is it a place caught between dimensions? Or is it a dimension of another dimension between dimensions above dimensions or below dimensions? Well, anyway, let's take a look at this Backrooms fan film called Backrooms Stalker. I like the synth wave. I'm digging it. I'm digging the synth wave. I hope you guys got your snacks. I wanted to bring down some milk and the new black and white golden Oreos. I love them. I've been on an Oreo kick lately. Anybody try the Oreo Space Dunk yet? It's like Oreos with Pop Rocks. <laughs> like after you're done with the cookie, it like starts to sizzle in the back of your mouth. It's Pop Rocks. I love the synthwave sound here. Once again, I want to thank you all for coming in on such short notice. Okay, here's the briefing. I'll go ahead and skip the pleasantries. The briefing the scene. Get right to the the sit Remember rep. Any and all information shared during this briefing is considered confidential. It should be treated as such until further notice. Approximately 43 hours ago, three members of a research team from a classified organization were involved in an incident that caused them to momentarily lose radio contact and become mm. separated from the rest of the squad. The remaining member managed to bring back this footage. Someone actually made it back from the back rooms? It worked pretty well from what I've heard. Apparently they only had a minor discrepancy during the signing, but they managed to get everyone's signature in the end, so... This is from the game. This is from one of the back rooms games. One of the multiplayer games. One of the games that I can't play on my lousy little laptop. Whoa. Guys! Guys! 
Are you all right? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Isaac, this is standard. What's going on? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. My, me and my team, we're just walking and they just... I, 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 I don't know. They just fell through the fucking floor or something. Please, please send help. I, can't, I think I lost contact with them. They're not responding. I think they might be dead. Wow. I, Okay, Isaac. Oh, he's freaking stay out, calm, man. All right, we'll send someone down there and try to figure out what's going on and help you out, okay? Just, just stay put for now so we can follow your tether chain. Okay. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> guys! Guys, the... can you hear me? Oh my guys! gosh. This is what became of the researchers. Wow. We're not exactly sure how or why this happened. This just breaks our current understanding of science and physics. Experts in the field have their theories and ideas on how this could be possible. Mm -hmm. However, nothing definitive yet. Wow. Although, something you may be familiar with is the recent spike in missing persons cases as of late. Uh, is some believe that they might be related in some way based on the reports citing a very similar set of circumstances and events transpiring. Whatever the case may be, we have confirmed that the team depicted in this footage managed to survive the fall. Approximately an hour he after doesn't the sound too in, sure, does he? an emergency distress beacon was activated roughly 70 yards northeast from the drop-off point. That puts them around here, mm. which tells us there's likely some kind of underground structure beneath what the company now refers to as Hallway 1138. Based on the depth data of the beacon, we estimate them to be anywhere between 20 and 50 feet below the surface. And we're absolutely sure they're still alive down there? Is it possible the beacon tripped off on its own? In addition to the beacon, we've recently managed to regain brief but very sporadic radio contact with the team. We've confirmed they're alive, but two of the members are severely injured and incapacitated from the fall. Unfortunately, our contact with the team is too unstable, and it's virtually impossible to establish any kind of beneficial communication. Well, wait. If they're incapacitated, then why aren't they still at the base of the drop? I mean, why even move at all? We're still unsure. Although I'm sure they have their reasons, it's hard to verify what exactly is going on down there. Regardless of their current whereabouts, our main objective will be to search the surrounding area and retrieve them back up to the surface. The plan is to locate the hazardous area and mark it off to be dealt with accordingly. You'll be equipped with a camera of your own to hold not up, hold scout up, hold out up, hold the up. surrounding area underground. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mission. Pause. 1138. I don't know if any of you know uh, any of the history of Lucasfilm. Um, before George Lucas came out with Star Wars, he created a sci-fi uh, short film or I don't, know if, I don't know if it was feature length or what it was, it was short, uh, called THX 1138. I'll bet that that 1138 right there is an Easter egg and a shout out to George Lucas. Uh, check me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Once you've found the drop-off point and verified its safety, you will rope down to the bottom, locate the surviving members, and rappel them back up to the surface. To do this, you'll be equipped with a grappling harness and motorized rope ascenders to assist you in rappelling. Now, due to the hazardous nature of this facility, the air and surrounding environment isn't verified to be safe. In mm. addition, we have a reason to believe that there may be an abnormal amount of surrounding pressure from the outside. To compensate for these conditions, you'll be equipped with prototype Mark III NBC hazmat gear. This will help withstand the extreme exterior pressure from the outside as well as keep out any potential contaminants. It's crucial you treat the entire area as biohazardous, which means you're unauthorized to break your seal from the outside for the entire duration of this mission. We'll mm. handle the research team and decontaminate them once they've been extracted and escorted back to the facility's outpost. You'll also be equipped with standard Colt 723 carbines outfitted with flashlights to compensate for what we believe to be low light conditions. Flashlights will also be affixed to your helmets for added visibility. Why the guns? Should we expect resistance? It's hard to say for sure. There's an unlikely chance you might encounter potential hostiles after you've made your descent. However, I'm not allowed to get into the details of what that might be. Not allowed. Wait a second, you can't even tell us what we're what? up against? <laughs> Due to the classified nature of this assignment, I'm only allowed to reveal what my superiors deem necessary. But rest assured, there's nothing down there you guys aren't equipped to handle. 
Oh, well, thank you. I'm, I'm very assured now. Hudson! Lieutenant Hudson, this isn't your standard point-and-shoot assignment. This is a... Hudson! Shout out to aliens! Or maybe not. Rest in peace, Bill Paxton. Black operation. Everything is on a need-to-know basis, and there are even details about those that I'm not aware of. Considering the team is still alive, it's pretty safe to assume that it's all clear down there. The weapons are merely a precaution. Is this a stand-up fight, sir, or another bug hunt? Trust me, if there was any tangible threat to the mission, you all would have been thoroughly informed about it. It's a bug hunt. <laughs> now, if there's still a problem, we can always have someone replace your position. However, to those of you who stick around to get this done, the government will triple your rates and include a $500,000 bonus for each of you. Yeah, oh, right. damn. <laughs> but with that said, there are of course conditions. As I mentioned previously, due to the classified nature of this facility and the company researching it, this is considered a black operation. Nobody knows we authorized this, and nobody even knows this meeting is happening right now. Wow. It's in everyone's best interest to keep it that way. Mm. All information shared during this meeting stays in this meeting. And a gag order will be placed on all of you about the details of this operation after its conclusion. Trust me when I say you'll be surprised how quickly you'll be dishonorably discharged if word of this gets out to the public. Mm. Alright, with all that said, are there any other questions? Where exactly Jackson. are we going? May 12th. 1990. All right, we're rolling. Looks like the camera's working fine. All right, good. What do you say the real thing was for? I think he said I could mount the camera to my helmet to free up my hands during the mission. Which, I mean, sounds great in theory, but we'll see how well it works. Okay, well, we shouldn't need you to set anything up, so you'll be on camera duty for now. Sounds good. I mean, this is darn good for, for you know, for a CGI animated uh, film. Very, very hey, good. Are you guys the search and rescue team? There we are. All right. Well, my name's Robert. <laughs> I'm the assistant. Check him out. Sounded like Master Chief. Follow me, and I'll show you where we'll be heading <laughs> out. Speaking of which, yeah, I uh, saw a little bit of Halo uh, uh, Season 2. You've already lost one of our guys that way after you got separated. I need to watch the rest to really give <laughs> Damn. a Not full opinion. On this place. Yeah, that seems to be the pattern as of late. But it's pretty easy to get lost, especially if you don't know where you're going or what you're looking at. Just as a baseline, if you see anybody or hear voices of any kind before you guys make your descent, don't follow it or try to interact with it in any way, shape, or form. Apart from our missing team, you guys should be the only ones out there right now, all right? So does that happen often, or no? Well, no, not really. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't happen at all. Teams occasionally come back saying that they hear disembodied voices, but to be fair, that could be anything with how much noise that place creates. Wow. Ever since the disappearance of our aforementioned researcher, we just tell everyone to ignore them as a baseline. But just because it's rare doesn't mean it's not a precaution. Right. Got it. All right, and I'm guessing based on the guns, you guys know about our little friend downstairs. Well, not exactly. For whatever reason, that was deemed as unnecessary information by our higher-ups. <laughs> huh. Okay, then. <laughs> well, as far as we know, he's MIA. I'm on the complete opposite side of where you guys will be heading. The entrance there is sealed up tight, so there's no chance he's getting out without us knowing about it. As for what you'll find down the hole of 1138, I don't know if you mentioned it being unlikely that you'd find anything down there, but considering the team's been down there for just about two days now, I think that's evidence enough that it should be pretty much clear. But yeah, definitely bring the guns as just a precaution. We're honestly probably going to start doing the same going forward. Great. Alright, I think that should be everything. So just go ahead and load up your stuff on the carts and we'll go ahead and drive you guys where you need to be. Alright? Okay, then. Okay. Let's roll. This is really cool. I mean, it's it's like 
it's like a, a, a vision of the back rooms that we've never seen. I'm like, people literally going in and searching the area, you know, investigating what this is going on, you know. Or maybe they're just trying to find a decent okay. conference room it's gonna be to a sharp corners have their and convention. From here, so you'll have to go the rest of the way on foot. Go ahead and mark off the edge on the drop-off point, and we'll handle it after you guys are done. We'll be on standby over here in case you guys need anything, all right? Okay, sounds good. Yep. All right, good sounds luck, good. guys. Uh-oh. So, here we go. Anybody want to take a guess on what the hell we possibly need with this place? Well, my guess would be storage of some kind. <laughs> I mean, you guys saw the room we entered in. It was huge. These hallways and rooms really go on forever. This would be a great place to store stuff in. <laughs> and now with overpopulation being a major concern, we probably could even turn these into living areas or housing even. Housing in a hazardous foreign environment filled with threats they can't even tell us about? Yeah, I'm sure nothing could go wrong. You're still worried about that, aren't you? You know, I'm honestly surprised you guys aren't. I mean, am I the only one with their fucking head screwed on right? Look at what's happening right now. We're walking into a military operation, essentially blind about what we could even be fighting. In a facility they can't tell us about, for a fucking company they can't even tell us about. I don't give a shit if this is a blackout. I've never been on a mission where they've kept information like that from us. Well, I'm sure there's a good reason we weren't informed about any of that. He mentioned yeah, information you, you, was on you're just on a really, basis. you know, and serious mission to find an appropriate conference room dangerous down there, to have your seminars. That's it. Be a team to save. <laughs> But I mean, it's just like Jack said. Why the I guns? mean, that could be an adventure it's in an itself. <laughs> then why even bother getting an armed search and rescue team? They've got nothing to hide, then why is any of this classified to begin with? I mean, seriously, they got to be hiding something with all this fucking secrecy bullshit. <laughs> right now, I'm just praying we don't figure out about the hard way. All right, quiet. Yeah, meter are just spiked. I think we're close. You getting anything? I mean, it's breathing like I'm right on top of it, but hold up. Oh, whoop, whoop, shit. Found it. Found it. Right here. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. It's a little faster with the shape. Let's go ahead and mark the edge here. Yeah, one sec. Section, this is Miller. We've reached the drop off point. I'm going to go ahead and send the camera down and see what we got. Then we'll set up to make our descent. Over. Roger that. Good work. We'll try to notify the team that you're there and we'll see if they're able to move in closer to Watch meet out. you guys at the bottom. There we go. Mark it off. There you go. Make this trip as short as possible for everyone. Over. 10 Give us Nice. <laughs> All right, listen up. Unless you want to be rescued too, do not cross this line. Got it? Let's go ahead and set up one of the lines here so we can send the camera down and see exactly what we're dealing with. Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. That is something else right there. <laughs> whoa. Damn. It's pitch black down there. Well, uh, let's see if we can fix that. Wow. You ready? Yep. Send it. Holy shit. What? It just keeps going. Um, we are absolutely sure they're still even alive, right? Well, I mean, that's what we're here to find out, isn't it? Ah! Uh How -huh. the hell did they survive a fall like that? Ah! Oh! Oh my God! Hudson! Hudson! Don't! Don't! Hey, don't hey, hey, do Playing around, dude. <laughs> do it again, and I'll throw your ass down there. I'm serious. All right, knock it off, both of you. Hudson, come on me and load this. This is really good. This is so good. All right, they're about to repel. All right, hopefully that holds. Hand me that. Time to go repelling. Is it recording? Yeah, it should be. All right, yeah. You know what That's this good. reminds me of? It, it reminds me of a classic uh, series called Land of the Lost. And there was uh, an episode where uh, the the main characters, the marshals, they, they, they fell down a... Um, a uh, uh, a waterfall and they wound up in uh, another dimension of time and space where everything that's been lost winds up in that area everything from dinosaurs to futuristic uh, contraptions and 
all different kinds of stuff wind up in the land of the lost because this earthquake somehow opened up a dimensional doorway at the bottom of this uh, a waterfall. It's a classic show. Look it up. Uh, Land of the Lost. And there was one episode where they found this hole that just opens up and then closes. It was one of the scariest episodes. I mean, the, the special effects are super dated, but still, at that time, it was it was pretty scary. Hello. What? Okay, we're getting interference? Uh oh. <laughs> Definitely fits the description. Yeah, I'm sure it smells lovely down there, too. <laughs> I'm guessing one of you guys dropped that down there? Yeah, I dropped one down earlier. I wanted to see how deep it went. Section, this is Miller. We've sent the camera down and got brief footage of the bottom. Everything pretty much matches their description. Looks like some kind of underground tunnel system. Almost like a sewer. Hmm. Looks like you might be right about that high drop, though. Looks like it's going to be a long way down. Took a while before the camera finally hit the ground. <laughs> Copy that. Any long way down, like the Goo Goo Dolls. Nothing. Not from what we can see. What about you? Heard anything from them yet? From the Twister yeah, soundtrack. On it. Voices kept cutting in and out. Which so happened no to star Bill Paxton. Clearly. Although that was about <laughs> half an hour ago. And it's been pretty much <laughs> Who played Hudson time. in Aliens? Which I'm sure one of the characters is named after. <laughs> Copy. We'll keep you posted. Six degrees of Bill Paxton. God rest his soul. Hey, Miller, you mind me asking why we set up three? I wasn't exactly planning on sharing a line with someone. All right, quiet. Listen up. Change right. your plans. Hudson, I need you to stay up here in case anything goes wrong. We need something while we're down there. If you don't hear from us within an hour, then go back and get help because something's gone wrong. All right, yes, sir. Sounds good. Everyone else, get set up. You're with there me. There we go. I think it's about to get real. Grapple guns. Alright, everyone good? <laughs> Think so. Let's knock this out. Section, this is Miller. We're ready to make our descent down. Copy that. Godspeed, guys. Good luck, you guys. Be safe down there. Alright, here we go. Alright, rock and roll, y'all. Let's see where they go. Wow. I'm waiting for these guys to make a backrooms. This, this, this is makes for a no backrooms movie. Any updates on your end? Over. Negative. No response. Looks like they've gone dark again. How's the beacon read? Looks like it's still in the same spot. But with that being said, it hasn't moved for a while. Okay, Roger that. Let's proceed with the mission and see if you can find them. If they're well, dead, we need to make sure. All right, copy that. Hopefully, this ain't a wasted truth. You're telling me. All right, get tactical. Let's fan out and find them. Oh boy. It's about to get real, y'all. Here we go. Clear. Yeah, clear. Clear. 
Which way do we go? Reading leg, we gotta take a right. Question is, which right? Wait, look. There's some blood down that way. Holy what? shit. Wow. Well, I guess that helps narrow it down. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Hudson might have had a point. Well, yeah. they did say they were hurt from the fall. N no, like, this is a lot of blood, Miller. Yes, yeah, that's, that's a lot of blood. blood. You're just not one person. Clear. Clear. Which way now? It's reading like we gotta go right. Yeah, but the blood trail goes this way. <sighs> Alright, let's split up. Shannon, keep Bad following the trail. Let us know where it leads. Me and Jack will head down this way and find the beacon. Alright, got it. How far away is it? It says we're like right on top of it, so keep your eyes peeled. What the hell? Miller, check this out! It's right here! Oh shit! Hello. Yeah, this is definitely it. But where is the team? You think they'd be right here with it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Why leave it here and go somewhere else? Uh, guys? Yeah? Come take a look at this! Okay. One of the researchers' suits. Looks like they tore themselves out of it or something? Ooh. Probably ditched them. They've been stuck down here a while. I'd imagine these things get uncomfortable. Yeah, but why go through the visor like this? I mean, uh. it's completely smashed up and there's blood everywhere. Yeah. Well, either way, we better get moving. If they're cutting bleeding, then that means we're even more pressed for time to- Contact! 12 o'clock! Hey, Whoa. don't move! <laughs> Relax, man. Whoa. It's gonna be okay. We're the team sent to help you guys. Uh, are you injured? I am. I was able to walk back. I heard you guys coming, so I tried to make it back on my own. Where's the rest of your team? This way. Over here. They're still alive, but they need help right now. Okay, man. Lead the way. We'll follow you. Something ain't we'll right about this. What? The fuck you mean, hold up? They need our help. Something's not right about this. Yeah, duh. Ma'am, what's your name? Grace. Grace Williams. Miller? What? She's... She's not moving her mouth. What? Are you guys gonna help us out or not? Holy shit, you're right. What the fuck? Ooh. How is that even possible? Alright, everyone stay calm. Your positions. Whatever. Oh. Holy shit! Open fire! What in the- Oh! Oh, 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 Yeah, uh, wheel out, man. Oh my gosh. I mean, the sound that thing makes. Come on, come on, pull yourself up. Come on, pull yourself up. Come on, man, pull yourself up. Hudson! Hudson, pull me up, please! Oh! Oh! No, fuck that! 
it, man. You're not going anywhere. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, oh, man. Oh. Come on, man. Fucking do it. Oh. Oh, goodness. Oh, my gosh. Wow. You all right? Oh, God. Oh, my God. What the hell was that thing? All right, what happened? It was a trap. It was a fucking trap, and we were set up. Whoa. This whole thing was a fucking trap, and we fell right into it. They're dead. They're all dead. No. The rest are, are dead because of me. Oh, because of me! Oh, oh man. Shit. Holy oh, shit! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! All right, all right man, just, just try to relax, okay? Relax? You're telling me to relax? How am I supposed to relax when I'm the reason Miller and Shannon are dead? Because I couldn't stand my ground! No, I had to run like a fucking coward! How the fuck do you expect me to relax? Cool it right now before you bleed out in front of me! That wasn't your fault, all right? You did the best you could. They're dead because of that fucking thing, not you, okay? Don't blame Ooh. yourself. Would you please relax before I lose you two? Oh, man. There. Voice acting spot on, man. Section, this is Hudson. Jackson made it out. He's alive, but he's severely wounded. I managed to get him stable, but I need a professional down here now. Miller and Shannon are dead. Something else was down there. Wow. Something we sure as hell weren't ready for. Ooh. Whole thing was a goddamn setup, and we fell right into it. Hey. They, they use the researchers like fucking ragdolls, like puppets. Mm. They mimic their voices. I don't think they survived the fall. I don't think they were ever alive down there. Mm. Roger that. Sending medical down to assist. I'm sorry for your loss down there. Over. Why do I get the feeling that they're not sending medical? I think we're about to see a Wailing Utani situation here. Camera's still rolling. It might be damaged, but I think so. I don't know. Go check. Wow. Wow. I mean, the the storytelling. I mean, wow. I mean, oh, that was fantastic. That was abs. Oh, wow. That was just absolutely phenomenal. Um, thank you so much, uh, Angelica, daughter of the Watcher, for for suggesting this video. That was that was really in. It was intense. It was amazing. It was, it, you know, it, it it's it kept within the 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 premise of what the backrooms is all about, and they just took it in that direction, and uh, wow, so good. What did you guys think? Have you has has anyone ever seen this before, and you're watching it along with me for the uh, for the second time? What did you think? And it shouldn't and should they just go on ahead and just make a backrooms movie? I think that would be really, really awesome, you know, you know, and, and, and make it like, you know, like that, you know, you know, people exploring 
the back rooms, this, these, these other dimensions and finding something not so pleasant in there. So, <laughs> all right, everybody, that's it for me today here on uh, Saturday Night Chiller. Chiller. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.